Hi guys, Arindam here. And in this video, I will show you how to defeat Rockwell on Gamma difficulty. Now, I have 5 sets of black armor that I have color coded. I have around 500 assault rifle ammo and around 800 shotgun shells. My assault rifle will mostly be used for defeating the red orbs and my shotgun will take out the tentacles as well as the Rockwell's heart itself. I have two shotguns. My primary shotgun is around 273% and a backup shotgun. I will also have some med views, some healing, so well, some food and I'll be carrying backup water just in case. Now, I'm going to be using only the shotgun and the rock trick. My rock trick is has around 30 nameless venom just in case it needs to heal around 21,000 health and everything else put into stamina nothing into melee and anything else and well a journeyman saddle so let's begin well wait I also have a feather light the reason I chose a feather light is because it can fly and it also has the highest emission range this one is imprinted but it has no mutations either now and I have put my best flak helmet in this And let's see how it goes. Since this is the Gamma Rock Will, this should not be that difficult. The biggest danger in this fight are the red and purple orbs. You need to avoid that. And also the additional danger comes at the last stages of the battle when the individual tentacles start emitting lightning discharges that will dismount you and then it can kill you very fast. Okay. Change my armor first. that you have some distance from the pentagons especially in the later rounds when it starts making to fall. wow that's awesome good job take out the last tentacle at the last moment so that we are re really close to the heart and there goes the heart
Wow, that's that's just too bad. I'm guessing this is the F key or the R key. Yes, this is the R key. So if you were to accidentally press the reload key while not using a weapon, this is what's going to happen. dogs are actually the ones that do the most amount of damage. This round onwards, two of the tentacles will start their area epic lightning attack, as you can see. And we need to be careful so that we don't get dismounted if we are in this area of effect. This is by the way the second stage of the battle. In the final stage, all Six of its tentacles can use the lightning attack and Reaper Kings will also spawn. Elemental Reaper Kings, not the normal ones. And 
at the start of each round we need to be as close as possible to this this area because when a new round starts accidentally the tentacles might spawn in lightning attack at the very beginning and you might get dismounted well you can see this already This guy, then I need a feet. I need a feet. Got a feet. actually play on the proper server then there will actually be a timer of 30 minutes so you don't want to delay this thing too much sometimes it is better to just ignore these uh, ignore these balls the only ball that you should not ignore are the red balls they do the most amount of damage well outside their area sometimes I want it to reload but it doesn't reload Every time you hear a deeper sound it is better to jump because kind of they might launch their attack and you don't want their slowing attack to slow you down in a fight like this. See where I am right now. what I did now what I need to do is get some distance and attack from there
and ignore this guy for the moment. down repeat rinse and repeat Fast. Just okay. yes. Good. Now that the jump attack is done. You cannot actually fall into this element pool, so you are safe from that. Starting to get slightly hairy. I need to change my armor. I need a new helmet and I need a new hand. Hand, hand. There you go. I'm guessing this is the second last stage.
you need to be always wary of its tail spike attack because all it does it it makes Wow, cannot even see anything. I don't know exactly what is happening, but I cannot see anything. Great. Take a breather for a second. Wow, I cannot even go there. Great, fine, fine, fine. I think I can heal up a bit. And I need a leg. And I need a feet. I need a feet. Very good. So from here, you at least get protected from the attacks. Sort of. Yes! My god! It's done! Well, first thing to do... Stop it right there! Okay, good, good, thank you! So, guys, that's how you do it! First thing I need to do is transfer my stuff here... But, wait... Drop this guy here... And...
okay so the boss battle is done now i will show you the settings i use to defeat the boss battle now takes a bit of time to load. Now, this is my settings. <coughs> Excuse me. So, difficulty level is 1 and everything else you will see is exactly the same. I have the experience and taming speeds up and well, I'll show you the entire thing. And the critical ones, single player setting is disabled. And maximum difficulty is on and there is no creative mode by the way and well like additionally resistance is exactly one so no shortcuts this is the legit way of doing gamma rock pull. i know i am not on an actual dedicated server or an official server but even on my single player this is exactly the same as you would do on an official server setting uh, well i'll let you see my other settings yes I have these things highly up to make sure I can at least do some sort of breeding and mutation. This is just to make sure I don't need to spend months or even years just doing basic mutations. And that's about it. Well, four. Anyway. So guys, I know I played this on single player and the only difference I can think of from playing this on an official server is the timer. The timer of 30 minutes now if you were to check my video you will find that i have done this video in far less than 30 minutes so even that should not matter what is interesting to note is that you cannot and i repeat you cannot get boxed in by the reapers so i did get boxed in and i was <laughs> sort of thinking that i'm going to die if that ever happens somehow kill some reapers do anything just free yourself because once you get boxed in there is no way you can get out without doing without having some sort of miracle and i initially did not thought that the nameless venoms will have some help in this battle i never thought that 20000 health on a journeyman saddle would be less and but thankfully i brought some venom and it helped out i pay, well Technically, you will see that I barely won. My Drake was nearly about to die. Another thing to note is that I have not used any other Dino. Now, on Gamma Rockwell, the Tentacles hardly have around 3800 health. So, you can 3-shot them using a 200% plus shotgun. It's okay. But if you're going to do Beta or Alpha, it's not going to be easy. Let me spawn back in my entrance. Oh, oh my god. Oh sh this is this is horrible. So my base is somewhere around here and I don't even have a bed in my base. I think my bed got destroyed. So I have my bases in some other places. Anyway, can I can I just go like this? Respawn random location? Let's see. I'll just have to go to my bed normally. Naked. Okay. So that's my gamma implant. Gamma rock well. I have gotten some of these things. I think. Uh, uh, let's see. I can now go to 125. I guess. And let's see. Let's find my base. And after that, I'll end the video. Okay. So my base will be somewhere there. Now my rock drake and feather light will definitely spawn in the portal region so and I know they are going to spawn they they have not died sometimes it happens but I guess the developers have fixed that part anyway 
Now I just need to navigate this highly 50 to 100 meters without encountering any raptors or ravagers. Oh great, brilliant, thank you. Because when you beat a boss, you need to get high and start pooping all over the place. Well, there is my base by the way. It's still incomplete. I have. This is hardly like more of the skeleton has been built. Go inside the base. I'll have a separate video on this base once it's finished. For now, just think of it as an incomplete base. This is the this is the reason why I have the new. This is for getting this sort of mutations, I have the rates higher up. Anyway, so okay, my video is lagging horribly. And I have reached my base. Yay! Hurrah! So guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you liked, if you like the video, please press the like button. And if you feel that I am doing good job here, you can always subscribe. I will find the way to complete beta rockwell and then alpha rockwell solo till then goodbye and thank you for watching